So in this video today, we're going to be talking about video editors block for wedding filmmakers. So video editors block, um, you know, there's writers block, right? And um, there's also, believe it or not, there's video editors block. So this is when like um, you're trying to edit a highlight video and you're stuck like, how do I start this video? How do I go about editing this video? So sometimes like you don't know where to start the edit and sometimes you might be halfway through, but mostly it's the starting that gets a lot of wedding filmmakers. It's how do I start this wedding off? What shot do I put? How do I go about it? Should I put the dialogue in? Should I um, uh, start at the ceremony? Should I start when the bride's getting ready? These are some of the problems that uh, we face as wedding filmmakers. Like we want to start a video, but we don't know how to start it off. You um, know? So I'm going to show you some ways on how to get over, you know, feeling of you just stuck and you can't seem to start the video off and stuff like that. So let me just start, stop rambling and get to it. So I'm gonna be going back and forth. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do it here. All right guys, so yeah, so I'm recording my screen here. So what I do usually when I'm stuck is I just slap the music in first. So I usually start with music. When I'm stuck, I just like start with the music. So of course you kinda, you kinda like gotta, gotta choose the music that you're gonna use, right? So yeah, so I start with the music. So I already put some of the songs that I like in here. Let me see if we could get that up a little bit. Okay. All right, so the reason why I chose this song is because the couple was kind of like a country loving couple. Like, you know, they love the country, like country music. Like, you know, that couple like, like that loves country music and they're mostly like country people. So you have to kind of like choose a song that's gonna go with the couple and uh, yeah, make sure it's licensed and you paid for the license and stuff like that. There's a whole lot of um, websites out there. So yeah, so make sure you did all that and you chose a song and stuff like that. So yeah, so usually I just go with the songs. I usually sometimes, I usually just slap the song in there. So let's, uh, before we slap the song in there, let's uh, press P and kind of get a video. All right, I'll get this. this. This was my main video here. This is my A7S footage. Okay, so yeah, so I slap that in. Uh, let's slap in the, wait. So this is an instrumental. And then I also have the actual song right here. So let me, I'll just delete that for now. Okay, so I slap in I slap in, yeah, I slap in the music. So the thing here, another thing is like, it depends on what you're editing. In my case, I'm editing a trailer, right? So most of my trailers are usually just like two minutes long. So what I'll do is, um, I'll leave it like this for now, but here's another thing when you're stuck, this is what you do. So you slap in the music, right? You slap in the music. And then number two is create chaos. Just throw your favorite shots in there first. Then also throw in a few formal shots. So create chaos. So how I create chaos is I um, slap in the shots that I like. In this case, um, I shot this wedding. So I know what shots that I liked. There I am right there with my beautiful Mohawk. So you can see, all right, so I like this shot right here. This is just amazing. So this is the shot right here that I like. So I don't know, just throw that in there. 
Just throw it in any way you want to put it. Let's make this bigger. So the drone condor right here. Okay, ends there. Let's see, if wait starts. Okay. So let's wait starts. Let's wait that nice clip starts right there. Let me see. The point is to just kind of like get going is the point. The point is to get going since you're stuck, right? So how do you get going? Just start throwing in your favorite shots. So like I like that drone shot right there. Another one I liked was when the couple was walking and drinking the beers right there. So I don't know if this might be a starting shot, but Okay, I like that shot. I like that shot. Okay, so I like that shot. Yeah, I like that shot. So I threw that shot in. So just create chaos. Just throw in some shots that you like. So I have drawn shots of um, like the hotel where they were getting ready at. And mind you, this was during this is still coronavirus. So this was during a coronavirus. So they had they pretty much had this whole hotel to themselves. I'm gonna start it right here, come up right there. So you can kind of like get an idea, like okay, I'll make this the beginning. It depends on what you want to do, but in this case, it's kind of starting. I'm like introducing. Okay, so that's kind of like a shot I would use there, but it's nothing is official right now. Okay, I like this shot where I went around. Okay, that right there. Right there. right there okay so we're kind of like see i was just throwing in shots and now i'm kind of like okay taking it serious right so like that we're throwing we're just we're creating chaos right now we don't know where this is going but we're creating chaos and the aim is to make it two minutes right so yeah where is that thing at right here Okay, so create chaos, just throw in your favorite shots. Um, then also throw in some formal shots. Okay, so some formal shots like, you know, just regular some wedding shot stuff. Okay, this is drone footage. This is some formal stuff, okay? I had a gimbal here. I like that shot. I'm introducing the bride. Okay, okay, okay. I see where this is going. Pow, just creating chaos. right there all right so pal so i don't know where this ends but okay ends there i 
so of course gotta stabilize this even though I had a gimbal but you know it's good to stabilize your shots so some formers so what I'm doing right now is like so now it's like okay so I'm starting here and then I you know start here so another thing that I can do as a mixture is maybe throw in some dialogue which is right here is slap the dialogue in there you know so the thing is like here with create chaos just throwing your favorite shots and this and that I was out throwing a lot of shots but you know um I wanna since I'm doing this video I'll just make it quick and just go through this but usually what I do is I I stay here for at least an hour or two hours just throwing in those shots but I'm not gonna do that with you guys here but that's what I would do is I'll stay for an hour just throwing in those formal shots, those shots that I liked, you know, just those good shots. Just, not that, you know, I'll use that somehow. As you can see, that's overexposed there a little bit in the back. But then again, um, with, with me mostly is I deal with the color grading and all that stuff after I've kind of put the whole thing together. Then I start worrying about, you know, about the coloring and all that stuff. So I don't, right now, I don't really care about um, any exposure in the shots or none of that. Right now, I'm just trying to get the thing, just trying to get the story going, get my um video going that's what i try to do i just try and get my video going so actually what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start it right here since the drone started turning right there right so bow actually maybe even before is good Okay, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this fade right here. And I'm gonna do this. And yeah. Next is um slap the dialogue in there. Optional also depends on the dialogue. So you can slap the dialogue in there to kind of get you going, but it's optional and also it depends on what kind of dialogue you're trying to slap in there. So in this case, I would um do I wanted when she was reading the letter that he sent her. Okay, so let me see. Where is that at? I like that. I like that breathe. Oh, please cry. So what I'll do here is I have that. I'll slap in some dialogue, right? So now that so now that we got some dialogue, what I usually do is um um I don't want to use this inst this I want to use an instrumental now, so that way I can just have the you know instrumental going instead of having the words. You can mix them up, but this is how I work. I don't uh, I I mix them up, but you see what I'm talking about. So, yeah, so there you go, there we go. Okay, when in doubt, just look for it. Reveal in browser, there we go. All right, so where's your friend? Right here. Okay. So for you, I can add this later with the vocals. Right now, I don't want to do it. See, I just want the... So now I want to add her in the vocals in. So for you guys, I'm just giving you this as an example. But when I did the edit for this, what I did was I had to kind of like edit all the mistakes that she made. 
on see right there i cannot wait to, to like i had to like patch this those parts together and stuff like that so so you have to catch the the instrumental see so Come on, you're killing me. And the reason why I'm all over the place with the uh, filming here is because um, I knew I wasn't going to just like... I knew this was for the highlights video. Um, so I was going to kind of like, you know, um, mix in some shots with that, not just use just that. So I could, I could have been like this. So I'll just use the good parts like like this part right here, which is stable. So all this here is, of course, like I said, I'm not going to put it there, but, you know, it gets me started as to what kind of shots I want to use. And yeah, it just gets me going. So that's the point of this video to kind of get you out of like being stuck so yeah so that's what you do so let's let's keep going here so um slap the music in create chaos you know just create just throw some edits together you know just throw some edits some shots that go together that you want so you throw them in there and then uh, what else do we do we slap some dialogue in there okay and then um what i do is i edit in posh in passions I edit in portions and uh, I don't edit chronologically. Everything can be rearranged. Okay, guys, editing is like painting. It's like a passion. You have the freedom to create as you see it. Of course, in the guidelines of what you and the couple have agreed to, you are paid to do you. So do you let it flow. Okay, guys, so I'm going to have another video um, showing you guys how to create flow in a wedding highlight video but not in this video but yeah just let it flow just let your creative juices just flow out so edit in portions so what do i mean by edit in portions since we've already slapped the dialogue in here so we need to know what i mean by edit in portions right so what i mean here is like see how these portions go together so kind of like do just do that just slap in the stuff that goes together you know just like this part here i know you know sunset shots so i start slapping them together and um another thing that i usually do is i kind of have an idea how i want to end the wedding or how i would end um it's not set in stone so i'd be like how am i going to end it and in this case, I did a drone shot where I backed out from the couple, kind of like this shot right here. That shot, so. Okay, drone goes crazy. So I want to end with that, right? Two minute mark right here. Right here. So I want to end with that, kind of. So what I do is, um, yeah. So what I also do sometimes is I, I just put the, the instrumental, the beat right there like that. 
it's the instrumental but i want to end with the word with the lyrics in it right so i might want to bring it up some So I want to end it that way, right? So now what I got to do is I got to fill in all these, this whole blank here. That's my job. So that's two minutes, right? On the clock. Let's see. Let's make it exactly two minutes. Exactly two minutes. Okay. That's how we like it. Two minutes. Exactly. So, um, I want, I have to, so now I know this is where I'm going. So now I start working. Uh, I start just adding in, I start editing in portions. So I just start adding things in there. Okay. I know this will go this way. Uh, this, I don't know what's going on here, but cut that out. I go back to my shots right here. Um, Okay. I hate telling the couple to kiss, man. Like I tell them, I'm like, okay, look guys, you guys are going to do a walkout. When you get to the center, you're going to kiss. You're going to dip the bride. And they say, yeah. And they walk. People are yelling, blowing bubbles, sparklers, whatever the case. And I always get to tell them kiss because when they they it's like they don't know where the center is or where the middle is i always end up telling them kiss 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 and i don't want to add that in there because i know later on i'm gonna have to edit that out so it's a lot of weddings that happens to me at a lot of weddings like that happens a lot i always tell the bride and groom to kiss all the time even when i told them before they walk down i'm like dude you guys have to kiss when you get like you see that line right there when you get there kiss okay guys or when i give you a sign or i do this kiss they just don't anyway so that's that shot right there so you add in all these shots create chaos you add these are my favorite shots you know you add in all these shots and then um you put some dialogue in there and then you edit in portions so sunset shots um dancing shots getting ready so you edit them in portions okay so that later you can kind of like make them work so you edit in portions so that way you can kind of see where the thing is going so the the main the the whole point is to just start okay is to start editing so that's the whole reason you just want to start going because the the purpose of this video is um editors block right so video editors block so getting over editors block coming up with ideas when you're stuck on an edit so when you're stuck on an edit this is what you do guys you just put some music in there uh, that's what i usually do you can do what you do but that's what i usually do i create chaos just throw shots in there and then I slap some dialogue in. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends if um, it was an emotional piece and if the audio was crisp, clear. Because sometimes people mess up your audio and sometimes audio malfunctions and then you are only left with audio from the camera. So, yeah, so if that's good, like a whole, a whole lot of stuff goes into this. But, yeah, yeah. Um, throw in some audio and just edit in portions. And then that's how I get out of the edit uh, video editors block and just that, as you can see, I can keep going here, but I just stopped it so that way I can talk. That's how I get out of um, editors block. Okay, I just, this is my system, you see it over here. So hopefully this helps you guys and thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like the video and you can add anything to this, or in how you get out of editor's block, leave a comment below and I'll definitely um, reply to all the comments, good or bad. So make sure you guys you like the video, 
and you subscribe if you haven't yet on to the next one guys i'll catch you guys in the next video